My name is Linda Meeks and I am the founder of the organization Girls with Wings which we created to encourage more girls to have an interest in aviation. So we use women in aviation as role models to uh, encourage girls to reach their full potential. So we have an interactive website where the younger girls can uh, download coloring pages and play games and stuff like that. For the older girls they can click on the pictures of women in various fields of aviation, read their stories, talk about where they're talking about what they do and why they love it. Um, and we also seek out a lot of opportunities to actually go out and speak to the girls about what it is we do. I also have a Facebook page for Girls with Wings, so I get a lot of um, outreach that way. But then I'm also a Twitter addict. Um, Twitter.com, if you search on Girls with Wings, you can find me on there. But that's just a way for me to talk to other aviation people. And it's kind of a viral marketing kind of thing. They know aviation people, so I... Through them, I get to spread the word about Girls with Wings. So we have a scholarship um, to encourage a girl to get her private pilot's license, just get her started on her way. So we do that once a year, and uh, this will be our third year, and there, it's $1,000. It opens up in August, and we announce it in December. Girls with Wings is um, also a club of nine different characters that we're going to have that represent the different fields of aviation. And the first character out is Penelope Pilot. And she's a commercial airline pilot and she loves her job so much that she wants to spread her passion for aviation to other young girls. So if you go to the PenelopePilotProject.org, you can get a Penelope pilot to take to air shows and other aviation events that are on the calendar on the website. You can take your picture with Penelope, upload it to the website, and you'll get an email back when that picture is posted. And you can forward that on to family and friends and be able to tell everybody about what it is you're doing and get some enthusiasm and support from folks that you know. I've been a pilot for 16 years, and so as soon as I became a pilot, I tried to buy stuff for my nieces and nephews with airplanes on it. I had no problem buying stuff for my nephews, but I couldn't ever find anything for my nieces. So I went out and I bought an embroidery machine and I started embroidering airplanes on things. But the, after I got going with the articles of clothing, there was always a story attached to somebody who was buying them. It was either, um, I wanted to be a pilot when I grew up, or, and my you know, dad, grandpa, teacher, whatever, told me specifically that girls weren't pilots. Or I, growing up wanting to be a pilot, I wish there was more of this around to encourage me and show me that I wasn't the first one doing this. So that's why I started the whole um, mission of Girls With Wings, to encourage other girls. Arrow TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.